people of the internet and welcome to full stack well that's where i am anyway but welcome to my 500 sub special we are gonna do a q a so if you guys follow me on twitter you will know that i asked um for you guys to ask some questions so i've got them in front of me but of course i'm not just gonna sit here and be like okay here's an answer here's a question here's an answer here's a question we're actually gonna go um caving and i've just moved my base but well i actually haven't moved it yet but I'll be moving it. Um, I'm not going to actually talk about that in this episode. We are going to do our Q&A. But first we're going to just safely get down here. I found... Dun, dun, dun. So I think over here there might be a safer way to get in there. There might not be as well. But um, there's like a ravine here as well. Hello spider. Nice to meet you. Alright. So, let's just try and find an entrance. There's a couple of different things around here, like a ravine and stuff. No, thank you, sir. I said no, thank you. This looks... unpromising. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. What's in here? Oh. Easy entrance. Okay. So we've got, what we might actually do before we do this is get some wood. Just so that we can make some more torches. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. That should be plenty. Hello, sir. Okay. Now, back to here, and we will start with our first question. Let's we just pop down in here. All right. So the first question comes from Chill Hats, and it says, If you were a dictator of the world, what would you do first? What would you do after that? I honestly have no idea um, how to answer this question. Um... I'd probably try and, like, help a smaller country or something, um, and continue to do so. Um, because, I don't know, I really don't know, I don't like the idea of, like, war and things like that, um, and I feel like that's just too much responsibility. Whoa, you hit hard with a sword. So yeah, I'm not actually 100% sure what to say about that. I'm not really... Mm, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not the best at that. I'm just going to block this off. I'm also going to turn down mobs because they are very loud in my ears. Okay. So yeah, I, I don't know what I'd do as a dictator. Um, it's just really not who I would be. So I feel like that it's very hard to answer that. But yes, um, Honey Mascara says, what has been the most gratifying moment of, and best moment of this YouTube journey? Um, I think honestly meeting all of the YouTube community and all of you guys, I just love like talking to you guys in the comments and stuff. That's probably the one thing that I absolutely love about YouTube. It's not so much like, yes, it was great to hit 500 subs pretty quickly too, um, after putting up Fallout 4 stuff. It's not something that I really, like, don't always look at the numbers like that. I more rather have people comment and stuff so I can talk to people. Because it really is about a community that we're building. And that's one thing I do love is our little community. Uh, so, yeah, that's probably it. Now, um, Zol, uh, he is on full stack with me. He has asked, so no, he says, uh, no more Minecraft? Ah, uh, I think this answers this question. Um, but no, um, I have been very away from Minecraft lately. I did hit kind of a brick wall of inspiration, which I think happens to the best of us. Um, but 
I will actually be starting regular Minecraft weekly again. So that's exciting for you guys, if you guys like that. Okay. Dude, no. Dude, no. Yeah, you go away. Now, you know what? We might grab some of this coal up here before we run down. Okay. Mr. Sheepco has asked, what is the best thing about being an Australian? Well, I can't answer from a point of view of knowing what it's like to be any other um, person, but uh, I enjoy it. I, I mean, people seem to think I'm really not scared of, like, deadly animals, so that's always nice. But um, to be honest, <laughs> there's not actually that much threat in Australia with deadly animals. You don't really have to worry. I've never really had an encounter with one anyway. Um, I don't even think I've had a snake really at my house. <laughs> um, but I like being Australian. Um, I haven't really travelled anywhere to compare it to other places, but I think... What is the best part about being Australian? I don't know we get to live on a great island, but I don't go to the beach anyway, so <laughs> it doesn't really help. Um, hmm. I don't really know how to compare it to anything else, so... It's great being Australian. Um, probably the way people... I kind of find it... Um, one of the better things in the YouTube community is that, for some reason, my accent's entertaining to people. Especially the way I say no. Um, Anasia, Lof Anasia, Lofty and Fortron seem to really enjoy how I say no. Um, because I don't seem to say it like everyone else. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm not... 100% sure I just enjoy being Australian maybe <laughs> um, there's probably a bunch of things really it's just not really one of those things I ever thought about um, yeah I'm really not good at answering that question moving along uh, anime angel has asked if you had to leave Australia where would you move to and why so um, this is a very interesting question that I don't think I'd ever leave Australia personally because I absolutely do love it here. Um, I'd love to travel here and everything before I even travelled overseas, which people sometimes find a bit weird, but we've got such a great country and hardly any of the Australians actually see the main part of the country. Like, we don't actually see our own country, we just go overseas. Um, hello, Lava. Okay, um, so there's two places. One is a very close country to Australia, and that would be New Zealand. Um, I've always liked the thought of going and visiting New Zealand, and I feel like living there would be kind of cool too. Um, it's fairly close to Australia too, so visiting family and stuff would be fairly easy. Um, but... Otherwise, I think the other place would be Canada. I've always wanted to go visit Canada. I plan to go visit Canada. Um, and I think it would just be a great um, place to live. Like, it seems cool. But, I mean, I don't know that much about other countries. I'm really bad with, like, learning about other countries. Uh, but, yeah, I'd have to go with that. Um, so, New Zealand or Canada... Um, I love the, like, scenery in New Zealand from what I've seen, and Canada seems to be the same. Also, I've never seen snow. Both those countries have snow. So that would be kind of cool, but I've heard snow can be kind of annoying. So I think it's more of a cool for visiting purposes. But, yeah. Alright, let's... Next question is from Rain. Uh, what are... Uh have been your best experiences since starting content creation? Um, there's been quite a few. So, um, again, with the community, when I first started doing collabs, that was a big step. Um, as some of you probably know, I'm not really... I'm a fairly socially awkward person at times, and I find it very hard to um, ask people for um, if they want to collab, but it's one thing that you kind of get better at as you become... Um, more known in the community 
a lot of my people knowing who I am in the community comes actually from Aussie, um, who kind of just put my name out there straight away once he found out about me. And now Aussie and I are pretty great friends, um, and we know each other in um, real life and everything. So it was great, but um, definitely collabing in the community is a big thing. Um, but also just the comments. And I mean, I don't say that like lightheartedly. I try and reply to every comment that has a meaningful, um, thing or is a question, whatnot. I do not usually now reply to the, what I, um, started recently getting, which is first. I can't actually reply to that. Um, it, I don't know what to say. I feel like it's just, yeah, it's a, it's a very hard comment to reply to. So if you are after reply, I do try and reply to everything except ones like that. Or if you do a smiley face, I usually do a smiley face back. I do see everyone's comments. I do read everyone's comments and I do pretty much get them the minute they come in when I'm home. I do definitely pay attention to them. So yeah, you, your stuff isn't missed when you comment. Um... But definitely, yeah, the comments that, and I've got to say, I've got to say it, this whole um, Fallout 4 stuff that has taken me from around 250 subs up to 500, and I think I'm at 530 as of today. This is crazy, guys. I never thought that um, my YouTube channel would get so big. Um, and I know it's small in retrospect to um, a lot of other YouTube channels and people are probably like, it's only 500 subs. But 500 subs to me is amazing. Like, I can't believe that 500 of... 530 people are subscribed to my channel and watching it and I'm getting pretty good views on all my videos, which means that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing and that's the main thing. That I like that people are actually watching my stuff and enjoying it instead of not, basically. That's kind of a scary drop. I think you can go back down. Um, but yeah, no, definitely this Fallout 4 thing has been a blessing. I never actually thought that it would come of anything. I literally posted the female character creation and said, can we get to 50 views? If both of my Fallout 4 videos get to 50 views, I will put up a Minecraft video. That is what I said, and it's just crazy. Like, we didn't get to 50 views. We've gotten to, uh, I think my first one is nearly up to 9,000 views. Guys, I think you beat 50. Like, this is crazy. And I am so appreciative of it. Appreciative of it. I don't take it for granted at all. Let's just stop this water. Did that stop you? No? Oh, you're over here as well. But yeah, um, definitely those three things at the moment. Um, oh, and although this didn't go on my YouTube channel because I'm a big derp and I never recorded it, but probably one of the best moments in this YouTube community that's ever happened to me is the uh, UHC that we did where I completely wrecked Full Stack's face before I joined their server. <laughs> And the funny thing is, people didn't realise that I was already accepted onto the server, it just wasn't known. Um, and so basically I had just killed my new server. Um, and it was just so funny that I had been the one to do that. Because they had been trolling me for ages privately, saying that they were going to wreck my face. Um, and it kind of, yeah, that UHC, everyone kind of then knew who I was after that, which was kind of weird, because I wasn't used to that, but, um, yeah, it was great, you just felt like, I felt like I accomplished something, although it's only a game, it was very stressful, and I'd gotten up really early that morning, because living in Australia, if you ever want to collab, it's kind of like a 3am wake up, 2am wake up, which I do very regularly, although I don't ever let it really known to the people I'm collabing with, because I don't want them to feel bad. I work from home, so getting up early is perfectly fine by me as long as um, it's okay with my partner and that she's not having to holy zombies 
Where did you guys come from? Okay, okay. Oh, that's why everything's hitting me so hard. Alright, I can Minecraft, guys. I got this. Okay. Um, so yeah, that that's the answer to that question. And another one from Rain is, what have you learned about yourself since being on YouTube? I have learnt about myself that I can be a lot more confident than what I thought I could be. I have learnt to speak out to people um to not hesitate to ask because really all you can get is a no i have learned to take risks a bit more and i have learned to put myself out there especially even with just putting my um like pictures on like just putting taking pictures and putting them on instagram and stuff i'm a very shy person usually and i'm a very self-conscious person get burnt witch Um, so that is definitely one of those things that has helped. Um, I have realized that, um, something that I think a lot of people do think this to start with, and it's very hard to explain to family members and stuff, is that my YouTube and, um, friends online are no longer just my friends online these days. Like, these are my friends. These, these are the people that I talk to every day. As opposed to people that I know in real life, I don't actually talk to that often. Um, and not from lack of trying, it's just this YouTube community has been a great source of like friends for me. Um, and I think a lot of us are in a similar position where um, we are either homebodies, as I like to say, where we, we, we don't overly like going out. Hello, diamonds. Um, a lot of us like to hang around the home. Um, fortune. And so we relate, and sometimes it is easier for people to talk online. And honestly, that is it. It is easier for me to talk via a computer. And I've now finally started talking via like Skype a lot more often with people, actual calls and things like that. So it's just, yeah, a big like confidence boost, I guess. Um, in myself that I've learnt to be a little bit more confident in myself. Alright. Then we have, well, it's not actually a um, question, but I know that Ozzy rephrased it later on, but he said, shut up, Podsy. Now, those of you that know Ozzy know that this is a regular thing that I hear from him. And you just ignore him. That's the best way to deal with Ozzy. I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, no. I will not shut up, Ozzy. I will not. Now, continuing on. Uh, Fultron asks, where does your name come from? Or, what is your favourite movie of all time? So, movie... I'm not 100% sure on this. I was thinking about this really hard. Um, there's... Huh. Let's come back to the movie. <laughs> so, my name. Now... I don't know how many of you know this. I'm sorry, Bat. That was brutal. I'm very sorry. <laughs> the other guy's like, I'm out of here. Um, so my name actually comes from... I used to play World of Warcraft pretty badly. As in, I was very addicted. Very addicted. To the point when I was 13, I um, actually played to the point where my mother had to come into the room and um, tell me to eat because I hadn't eaten in a few days. Um, but that was 13-year-old me, not now me. I wouldn't do that again. I have a lot more self-control over my gaming. Um, but being homeschooled, it was quite easy to be addicted to something and not have to worry about it. Um, so there's that. And um, so playing World of Warcraft, my name was Puddles. Now... If anyone has played World of Warcraft, you will know uh, you never really just have one character. You have side characters. So you have a main character and then you usually have a lot of side characters. Or at least I did. And so um, Pudsy actually came from just a derivative of Puddles. So Puddles is what I've always wanted to call a cat. Although we didn't actually end up calling our cat that because I wanted to call a black cat Puddles. Um, and this was like a very young thing like... 
I was like 13 when I made um, made this name. And then it slowly got to Pudsy, and Pudsy is the one that seemed to stick the most. Oh, we made it back out here. Okay. Um. Well, we might go back down there. Or up there. Hmm. Um, and yeah, so Pudsy's what I decided because Puddles Plays doesn't doesn't sit as nice for me, I don't think. I don't like it as much. Eh. eh get in there. Eh. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's where Pudsy comes from. Now, favourite movie of all time. There's a couple that, um, I remember as a kid. Um, there is... Uh, let's think. I'm just not 100% sure. I, I mean, there's plenty of movies. I mean, I can tell you my favourite TV series, which is Xena. But when it comes down to movies, it's a little bit more complicated. Um, I remember watching Drop Dead Fred as a kid. And I don't know, um, probably one of the major memories with this movie that it just keeps coming to mind is, um, if you've seen it, if you haven't, there's spoilers, so... Stop listening if you have, haven't seen it and you want to see it, but there's a scene where um, he, because he's imaginary friend, and there's a scene where he goes under the um, mum's skirt and looks up and says cobwebs, and I showed, my little sisters watched this movie, and then for about three months, they were going under people's legs and yelling cobwebs. So it's kind of like that movie resonates with me for that, I think, but hmm. Uh, another movie that, <laughs> I think they're just movies with memories. I don't know if I have a favourite movie, just more movies with memories. Um, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which is not a PG movie at all. It's actually the movie that Janome first took me to on our first date and she didn't realise it was in a different language. She didn't even realise the context of the movie. But I find it very entertaining that that was our date movie. Um, and so that movie probably stuck with me a bit. And then probably the Hunger Games series would have to actually be my favourite movie to book series because I did read those books ages ago and although the movies I think sometimes could be done better, I I very much like that series so yeah, I don't, I don't know if I have like a favourite movie movie though, like I've just got movies with memories. Again, the Hunger Games is a memory with Janome, etc. So... I hope that helps, but I don't think it did. But my favourite TV series is Xena, hands down. Just hands down. Nothing nothing will compete with that. Then there is um, two tied per second. They're both Australian TV shows. There's Rush, which is a police show. And then there is uh, Sea Patrol, which is a show about the Navy. And a lot of people say they're terrible TV shows, but I don't care. I like terrible TV shows. Um, so, yep, Xena, Rush, Sea Patrol, made my own question, answered it. You can't stop me. Okay. Continuing on to the not having a favourite movie, but having memories of movies. Uh, Two Cubed asked, if you could be any Australian animal, what would you be? Also, how does it feel to always be upside down? Well, the upside down thing you do get used to. Um, it, it, it's just one of those things. Um, you kind of just have to deal with it. It, it's a bit of a head rush, I guess, when you first visit, but you you get used to it. Um, as for what Australian animal I would be, I honestly, I don't know how many of you guys know of this animal, but it lives in a small part of Australia, and really you only see it in the zoos, um, is a quokka, and I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, but this little, like, marsupial... It just smiles the whole time. Like, it's got the cutest little smile. I will picture it on the screen here. But, oh boy, it is a cutie. And I think that would be me because I'm always giggling and smiling um, in collabs and stuff, which people don't see. But that is what I'm doing, and it's very much who I am in um, real life is a kind of giggler, smiler type person. Um, I do find a lot of things funny, even if they're not funny. Um, people look at me weird. It's okay, though. You get used to it. Um, so definitely that. If not, it would be something, I don't know. I feel like I should have picked, like, a dingo or, like, a kangaroo or something, but no, it would definitely be, like, a little quokka or, like, a sugar glider or something. Um, sugar gliders are another marsupial. 
clearly I just am going to be a small animal of some sort. But definitely a quokka because they are adorable. And um, their little cute smile. And I like to smile, so, you know, keep the positives in life. This is not a safe area. Oh, why am I on fire? Oh no, I ran into lava. Oh no. No, no, no. Where is water? Oh no. Oh. Ooh. Found water, guys. Okay. 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 Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let's just go in here and let's just hide for a minute. Okay, let, let's regenerate our health. That was stressful. I'm just trying to answer some questions about being a Quoker, okay? And you know what, guys? That is actually all the questions that was asked. So, from my little hole in the ground, I would just like to say thank you again so much for the 500 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Um, there's going to be a few changes on my channel. I'm going to actually try and make a proper schedule. There will always, there will be Fallout 4 weekly and at the moment daily while I'm doing the walkthrough playthrough. Um, I will be starting up Minecraft once a week again. I will be having more collabs hopefully. Other YouTubers that I know. Anyone want to collab? Um, and I will also... Um, I'm considering... I've started three series on this channel that kind of just deadpan didn't work which is the last of us um which i've already played but i was doing a collectibles version of it so where you find the collectibles for um, playstation um i have also started tomb raider the f um older one not the rise of the tomb raider and also witcher 3 all of these didn't really have anyone watching or commenting and i was wondering if i should focus my time somewhere else and just play the games for myself um, so let me know in the comments guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing subscribe for more of it And if you like this video, let me know by hitting the like button and I always love reading your comments And I will reply as long as it's not just a first second third comment kind of thing I mean we all know how to count. It's cool We all know that there is always going to be a first person. So congratulations to whoever watches this first you are a winner but other than that guys I am very appreciative of everything that you guys are um, doing to support my channel and just commenting. I just love it. I just absolutely love it. I love replying to you guys and having conversations with you guys, especially when you're telling me how bad I am at games because I'm really bad at games. That's okay though. I will see you guys next time. Bye!